on this RV decor series, I'm gonna let you know what's under my bed. Oh gosh, oh gosh. Why was I thinking that was a good idea for a thumbnail? Jeez. I thought about on this RV organization series, it would be good to talk about what's under my RV bed. Everybody has different stuff under their RV bed, and there are so many different options and things that you can do, but I wanted to show you like what's under my RV bed. This RV bed is hard to get up and down now since I changed out the bed. One, I made it into a king. Two, we went with a thicker mattress and it's heavy. It's too heavy for the cylinders that are under here. And I probably could change out the cylinders to some other one, but personally, the stuff that I store under my bed is not something we hardly ever get out. The only time that we have to get up under this bed when we're gonna have somebody staying in the camper with us. I bought these storage boxes that are soft from Amazon and I will link them in the description box. I love them because under the bed, you wanna kinda of keep things contained and split up. I ended up taking my Cricut and just putting, labeling each one what was in it. So that way I knew. It does have a window on the front so you can look in them, but I just wanted to see mine at a glance. So I just took my Cricut and added that on top. A lot of people take the shoe organizers and take them and cut them and put them around the bottom of their bed so that you could put your shoes in there. So that would be definitely an option you can do. I don't need all that extra storage for shoes or anything. Now, if we full-timed, I probably definitely would do that because that would give me more storage for anything that I need to put in there. All we have in here is the sofa bed. Our sofa bed, it's like weird. Like if you lay on it, your head's like this, it's weird. So I have a foam topper that I had cut so that it bits the one section up higher. It works okay, but plus two, having that foam topper, it makes it a little more cushiony. I have a mattress topper that I put on top of that, and then I put my sheets on top of that. So I have my mattress topper and the foam in one of these totes, and the other tote, I have all my sheets, my blankets, and anything like that that are extra. And then in another one, I have extra pillows in there. I like keeping them sealed up like this too, just in case you ever got any kind of bugs or anything. At least this would somewhat help that and keep it separated. We also just have a twin size blow up mattress and the sheets to it. Now I do not have those in a tote. And, and the reason probably is because these came in a thing of three and it really should have been four because they fit perfect in here. So if you had a place to put two extra ones, you could buy two sets and you could put all four of them up under here and they would be perfect for that. Now, other people, they'll cut the hole out under this so that they don't have to pick the bed up and down and make some doors. So that way you can just crawl in there. I've even some people have turned this into a dog crate and it has like a doggy door in there and the dog goes and lays up under the bed. So I've seen that as well. Under your RV bed, if you full-timed, you could put like the clothes that you didn't wear during that season could go up under here. That would be a great thing to put up under your bed. Personally, I want stuff up under here that I'm not gonna access all the time just because now I have to put a piece of wood up underneath it to hold it up and it is so heavy to get it up because the mattress that we got, like I said, is way thicker. Now before, when it was easy to open this, I kept my collapsible laundry basket up under here. It was easy to just grab it and then it was out of the way. But again, now that it's harder to open and close, I only have things in here that I access every once in a while. Next week is going to be my RV tour, so if that's something you're interested in, you need to hit that subscribe button. Till next time, like and subscribe.